Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Carrie. Welcome to the video. So today I'm answering all of your questions that you had given me on Instagram. I decided that instead of sitting in front of my camera like a noob with the lights and just being a very boring sit down video, I'm gonna take you through my day while answering these questions so it's a little more enjoyable for you to watch. So let's get into the first question. So the first question is what do you do in your free time? These days I don't have a lot of free time. I'm actually quite busy a lot of the times. Lately when I do get free time I enjoy walking and going to my gym, doing anything outside like hiking, sometimes running, just getting outside, biking, mountain biking. I mean it just depends how nice the weather is and like if I'm up for it. I am a very creative person so I do find a lot of joy and fulfillment when I'm creating my YouTube videos or just creating content in general. I just love that aspect. I was never in theater as a kid, but I should have been because I absolutely like love creating. It doesn't matter if it's for me or if it's for somebody else. That would be my first answer to the first question. Okay, and so the next question was, what are you going to be for Halloween? It is before Halloween currently, and when this video goes up, it's gonna be way after Halloween. So I figured why not just show you what I look like. I did have a shirt on and half of my nails kind of popped off because I was starting to take off my costume and then I realized people were asking. So this is what I am. I'm kind of like a, supposed to be a fallen angel, but like not really, but like kind of. I had the tiara on. I have these wings that I put on my back, super cute. And then I had these little lace gloves that I would put on my hands and these colored contacts. Now, if you are in the market for a color contact company. This is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> it's called iFusion. I just type it in on Google and I'm sure they'll pop up. These are the first contact, colored contacts like this, like cosplay, makeup type contacts that I've put in my eyeballs where it's not itchy, they're staying where they are, my eyes aren't getting dried out, and I can see through them. If you're looking for a good quality contact and you're afraid to put something like this in your eyeball, highly recommend these people. It said on the website, I think they make them in the US or they ship them in the US, but on the box it says it's made in the UK up in this little corner here. So who knows, but very, very high quality contact lenses for a relatively cheap price. They got to my house really quickly. I did pay for the extra shipping to get them to my house quickly because I was afraid I wouldn't get them in time for Halloween. But yeah, if you're looking for colored contacts, look these guys up on Google and give them a go. So this is what I was for Halloween. Cool. And feel free to leave in the comments below what you were for Halloween because I absolutely love dressing up for Halloween. So I cannot wait to read your comments. All right, I know I look different. Got my hair done, decided to go a little darker, match my more natural hair color, which is a dirty blonde. So now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, get into the next Question. So the next question is, when you do your weightlifting, do you worry about injuring your shoulders or back? I love this question just because fitness and Olympic weightlifting is extremely important to me and it's one of the things that I find joy in. Another one would be obviously making content and doing YouTube. Long answer short, do I get nervous or worry that I'm gonna get an injury? No. And there's a bunch of different reasons. There's a couple main ones and I'll just quickly go over them. First, I'm extremely mobile, so I have really mobile shoulders, hips, knees, my ankle mobility is really, really mobile. So just by being overly mobile, that will help a person kind of get themselves out of positions if they're in a sticky situation. And the only way I can explain this is by showing you, but I don't have any Actually, no, I do have one video. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. When I was learning how to do a clean correctly, what happened is I went to pull the clean. I didn't brace myself and the bar crashed down on me. I was able to like literally pancake fold in and drop the bar. In those situations, it's helpful. It also is a negative thing to be too mobile, but I won't go into that. If you want me to ever go into that, let me know because I definitely would love to talk about that stuff. I've been doing this for so long and I know the proper technique 
technique and I know how to brace my core I know how to brace my muscles in my body and again I've just been doing the lifts the clean the snatch and the jerk for so long now that it doesn't ever cross my mind that I'm gonna get injured another reason is I know my limits if I walk into the gym and I just feel off if there's like a one rep max like front squat or something or back squat or one rep max anything with the with the barbell I'm not gonna do it <laughs> if you feel like crap and you push yourself through it like a lot of the gym stuff says like online like just push through the pain the likelihood of you injuring yourself goes up significantly so I listen to my body and I know what I'm capable of and so I don't push myself to that extreme limit because I don't want to get injured basically no I don't ever walk into the gym thinking that I'm gonna get injured and yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so it is a different day. Um, <laughs> I had some, a bunch of stuff come up that first day So we switched it to a different day, but you guys don't care. I know you don't care So the next question is do you still ride a motorcycle if you're new to my channel? I have been riding motorcycles since I was a kid my dad was slash still I mean he doesn't really race anymore But if he is gonna race I yell at him to not because my dad is like older and I don't want him to crash and like break a bone <laughs> My dad was a flat track racer and he would take us to all of his races when we were kids, me and my uh, brothers and my sister. When we got older, he told us that there we all had to get our motorcycle license. Like it wasn't, like it was just gonna happen. And so when I was a kid, I didn't really want it because I didn't really care. But then when I got older, I realized that's really cool and helpful. So I've been riding motorcycles all my life. Um, I got my license when I was 15. I actually got my motorcycle license before I got my car license which is kind of unheard of but I always I thought it was just a normal thing I just assumed everybody got their motorcycle license but as I grew up I realized like hardly anybody does <laughs> even people that that ride motorcycles on the road currently about 95% of the people that you see on the road don't actually have a motorcycle license which is freaking scary but I digress yes I still ride motorcycles we put them away for the winter because I do live in Wisconsin and obviously you can't ride a motorcycle when it's snowing out so they're away for the winter, unfortunately, and I will be bringing those back out probably, I wanted to say spring, but it won't be spring. It'll probably be literal last week of May or the beginning of June because it takes that long to get nice here. <laughs> in Wisconsin so but yes I do ride motorcycles I just obviously I'm not because it's winter and since we're still here I'm gonna answer kind of one more question somebody asked an update on how your OF is doing these days have you expanded still active so I decided that I'm going to make this a full video on its own because since I started it, I've learned so much. I guess I will answer yes, I still do it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna make that a full video on its own. So just be on the lookout for that. Not 100% sure when that video will manifest or when I'll make it and post it because y'all, November's coming, Vlogmas is coming. November, December are like the busiest months for me with YouTube, so. Be on the lookout. <laughs> okay, so it's a completely different day than it was even in the last clip, but that's okay. Things happen. So the next question is, what made you want to start making YouTube videos? I love this question. Before I answer it, I just wanna let everybody know on my YouTube channel, I just got done doing an Instagram Live. It was really, really fun. There was a bunch of us in there. We are having a good time. If you want to see my lives, you're gonna have to follow me on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. I do real-time updates on there more than I do on the community tab these, these days, just because I feel like nobody even sees the community tab half the time or they scroll past it. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Into the question, what made me want to start making YouTube videos? So long story short, the main reason is my creative mind. So I've always been a creative person. I have a background in the digital media. I'm just gonna say digital media because there's a lot of different types of like digital media. So photography, videography, graphic design, editing, like I have a, a background in that. And so since I've always been a creative person, 
person. I was in a position like two years ago where I was doing stuff in front of a camera and I realized I miss posting on YouTube because I used to make YouTube videos a long time ago, but I was never really consistent. It was like, I just would have like a creative urge to create something. I'd make a video, I'd post it online and then I'd kind of just disappear for years. <laughs> two years ago when I was in that position of being in a video um, and creating certain content for certain people, I realized that it just brings me so much joy. I honestly believe it's the path I'm supposed to be on, or at least what I'm supposed to be on right now. I just kept making YouTube videos. It made me happy. And yeah, that's mainly the reason why I just kept creating. And I create to fulfill that creative urge that I have like all the time. Like girl, your girl is creative 24 seven. And I recently heard a really good quote, but I can't remember it off the top of my head, like word for word, but it was something to the effect of, if you have a creative idea and you want to do it, you have 24 hours to get it done. Or you have to at least put, you just have to put it out in the world. And so whenever I have an idea, I just now, I don't overthink it. I just do it and put it out in the world. Even if nobody likes it and I'm the only one that likes it, good enough for me. So <laughs> that's the main reason why I kept making YouTube videos because I'm just a naturally creative person. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like the video so that other people that are looking for this content can find it. Make sure you subscribe, leave a fun comment below, stay whack, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Calvin says, bye. <laughs>